And quarterback Bryce Young announced they would be all in for this final game of the season. ABC 3340's Johnny Condon is in New Orleans. And Johnny, you were at practice this morning. What did you see out of the former Heisman winner Bryce Young? Hey, hey, Muriel, greetings from New Orleans. Day number two here in the Big Easy and day number two featured practice for the Crimson Tide. And yes, quarterback Bryce Young, he was in attendance doing some light work, stretching and throwing with the quarterbacks. And well, keep in mind, Young is a projected first round pick in this upcoming NFL draft. There's many people who predicted that he would just sit this game out, preserve his body and prepare for the draft. No group is more important when it comes to ensuring Young remains upright and healthy than this Bama offensive line. A front five that will look a little different than it did just a few weeks ago in the Iron Bowl. Jivion Cohen has left for the portal, and now there's a gaping hole at left guard. But J.C. Latham is confident that this offensive line group has plenty of depth and ready to seize the moment. But guys who stepped up in my group, like um, Tyler Booker, obviously, um, he's been a guy who's been consistent uh, doing his part. Um, Terrence Ferguson, he's um, been another guy who also has thrown into the mix and doing really well at that. Um, Pritchett, guy who also came back from injury, guys of that nature. James Brockemeyer, he's another crucial guy um, with everything that's going on. Yeah, just basically everybody who's just had to step up due to injury or guys transferring or whatever it may be, all those guys are crucial. And again, you could have a Heisman caliber quarterback like Alabama does, but as long as you don't keep him upright, well, that's when pro problems can arise. And I'll tell you right now, if Bryce Young wants to go out a winner, he's going to need his offensive line to keep him clean, healthy, and more importantly, getting ready to show out. Because again, here in New Orleans, it's all about putting on a show. And number nine, as we all know, and Alabama does that quite often. We're looking forward to a big game. Alabama, Kansas State in the Sugar Bowl. Inside the Louisiana Superdome, it should be a good one. But for now, everybody live from New Orleans, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports.